In Moto 12.1 we've included a beta layout which focuses on how we can use a single layout in Moto to do the majority of tasks. The main features of this layout are context sensitive tool palette. So the tool palette has the same buttons for swapping the various palettes out within the, within the same form but it also has this context sensitive um, option which will change depending on what selection mode you're in. So currently there is no tool properties form included on the left hand, left hand side here. So when you run a tool a button appears at the top and you can open up tool properties as a popover form and pin it. So then when you run other tools that will update and when you don't have a tool active it'll disappear. If you click on the triangle in the form divider it will quickly collapse that side of the UI and if you click on the arrow again it will bring it back. On the right hand side we have buttons to swap uh, properties over to the groups viewport or to the shader tree and we also have buttons for a variety of uh, common item list commands so selecting items and also duplicating items and we can also collapse that side if we want with the triangle. And if you need to see the timeline to do some animation, then just click on the time button at the bottom of the UI. So I'll just bring those side panels back. Now the main concept around this UI is how we go about splitting uh, 3D viewports and then also defining what goes in those viewports. And to set that up, we need to click on the triangles at the top and the bottom of the main 3D viewport. So the buttons at the top middle define the content of the main 3D viewport. So at the moment it's set to a modeling viewport, but to change it to a UV viewport you just click on the button. And we also have a topology viewport which is the same as the topology viewport in the topology layout. We have a mesh fusion viewport, a layout viewport, camera viewport and also the preview renderer. So the buttons in the top left will define the content of any split in the main viewport. So if I want a UV view on the left hand side, I can click on that button and it will split the viewport for me and give me a UV layout. Similarly I can have you know, a layout view, a schematic, preview render or whatever. And then if I click on it again it will remove it. Top right is very similar, we have things like the mesh operation stack, presets, channel list, and at the bottom we have things like the schematic presets and also the graph editor and also the script editor. Now if you want to create your own viewport for use in this system, if you click on the cross you get a drop down which gives you up to three custom viewports that you can define. So if you change it from hidden to expanded it'll give you a button and then you can click on that button and it will split the viewport and give you a blank viewport which you, you can then define as you would do in the regular Moto layout. Now these two areas where these buttons live are quite a, quite a large amount of real estate um, so you don't really want those to be visible all the time although we do have this idea of when you run things like snapping that will give you um, your snapping options in there as well. But most of the time you would want to use the UI with these things hidden. So you can also define what goes in these viewports with this button here. So if I want this left hand viewport to be UV, click on that and I can show and hide that, that viewport just by clicking on that button. And the same thing goes on this side, so I want that to be mesh operations. Click that and then bring that in and out that way. If I want this to be the schematic, then I can show and hide that viewport with that button. Now using those buttons gives you more real estate, but it's a, a lot of mouse miles to move your cursor around um, to use them. So to, to make the whole process a lot quicker, if you hold down Alt and Spacebar, it gives you this little pie menu and that allows you to show and hide whatever the current left right 
or lower viewport is. So this is still very much a beta layout. As you can see, there are icons missing and the tool palettes aren't fully resolved yet. But give it a go, play around with it, and we'd really like to hear your feedback.